Bones Trombone Choir, a Springs bass composed, a Springs band composed solely of the aforementioned brass, has once again taken to the stage, bringing uh, the renditions of holiday tunes to our community. Now, what always makes the event special, though, is they invite new trombonists, uh, high school age and up, to join them on stage. John McMichael shares their story. You guys have music stands, you guys have chairs, you guys have a place for an audience, and you have trombones. Boy, do we have trombones. This whole deal is an annual event called Trombone Christmas. It's actually something that's done all across the country. And it's something that's lived here for more than 10 years. The size of the Bare Bones Trombone Choir, which has a core group of about 12, sometimes swelling to number in the dozens. Our goal of the Trombone Choir in the first place is to foster the lifelong love of the trombone. It doesn't matter whether you're 16 years old or if you're, you know, 96 years old. If you can play a trombone or read notes, you're welcome to make music with this crew in this season. This is the first time, is it the last time? Heck no. Heck no, bro. Come on. It's, it's trombone Christmas. Come on. I absolutely adore this community. I am so happy that my kid gets a community <laughs> that, where they get to play the instrument that I grew up playing. Musicians are like this, you know, they take people in and then there's no judgment, it's just, just plain fun. Fun that's all about getting down to brass tacks about brass. And you just get to play and have fun and play fun Christmas tunes, because who doesn't like playing Christmas tunes? And people that play the trombone are always excited to come back and share it again. So if you've taken a break from the trombone... Many people have taken 40, 50 years off. <laughs> Come back and play. You'll remember it. We welcome you. That's our big thing. We like to have people have fun. Some people where we've played before have no idea that we'll be showing up and they hear it and they go, I like that. It's got to be the best thing. It really is. In Colorado Springs, John McMichael, News 5.